All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Wednesday, and that means that we are playing with some Gladiator Beasts. Uh, we're still doing the card demise variant. I, I tweaked a couple little cards in the deck because uh, I want to see something. But outside of that, I mean, I think Gladiator Beasts with card demise is a fine combination. I really do. Like, don't overextend a little too much. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of summoning a monster, setting a lot of back row, so I'm not going to really do anything, then I'm totally fine with just card demise and going plus, you know, because I didn't hit it, still at three, it's still stupid, but hey, you know, and we're seeing Gofu, yay, Gofu, uh, you already know, Gofu is some straight up shenanigans, like, it really is, it's, like, Metaphones are literally just turning into the pendulum dot deck, like, you just throw in every single thing that has any sort of goodness to it, and then just cluster fuck it, like, it, it definitely seems like a deck that Konami will address in the future, because it's the clusterfuck deck. And there you go. There you go. You throw in one Gofu, one fucking Gofu, playing Metaphos, fused with one token, bam, there's Ultimaya. Tell me that's not broken. Tell me that's not broken. That's hella fucking broken. Like, I'm an Ultimaya, you need to get banned. Like, eventually you need to get banned, because you're fucking stupid. So stupid. Go ahead and summon Crystal Meth, and I'll just go ahead and scoop it up. Like, just disgusting. Disgusting, Konami. You need to do something about this shit. Ugh. <sighs> Swear to Christ, you know? Like, uh, I'm kind of fucked right now, you know? Oh, and Instafusion Norden too? Like, come on. Come on. Like, such an enabler. Like, Norden is an enabler, like I said. You, you literally take everything that's good in Yu-Gi-Oh! Whether it be, oh, I can summon Ultimaya. Oh, I can go into Infinity with the fucking cliche shit. Oh, I can fucking, you know, go into Tree Town and shit. You just take it and make it into this clusterfuck of a deck. That's all it is. The clusterfuck of a fucking deck. I'm done. I'm done. I scoop. I scoop. I can't. I can't beat this. I can't. They're back. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But that would have been different if I would have went first. Then at least would have the warnings and strikes. They still had the warnings and strikes. Wow, this hand's not too great. <laughs> not too great at all. I want to try out drowning. Then drowning will be fairly decent when I don't open up too well. I could just set the drowning mirror force and you know blow my opponent back if they you know summon like three or four monsters. But this hand is not great at all. Like. I could play the fucking Crewing Ground. Like, I'm just not sure what I want to do, and I, I don't want to reveal my deck. That's the thing. I don't. I don't want to reveal my deck. Uh, anyway, in the title. Uh, this was supposed to be more observations part two, but I didn't do the more. Oh my god! No, I don't want to face fucking metal foes. Be right back. <sighs> That's all I have to say about that. Yu-Gi-Oh is. Sometimes, just, mm, that's all I have to say. Well, probably asking to be Twin Twisted, so, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and set all this. I mean, I still got card mines, but I didn't, so. Just still, if I get Twin Twisted, I get Twin Twisted, but hopefully these two strikes will be able to hold out, and I'll be able to keep my plays, and then get a search for another Glad and, and strike. Oh, no. Nothing, nothing good comes from fucking Violent Q. Probably gonna be some fucking Norden shenanigans. Okay, I have no idea what any of this shit does. Never mind, never mind. He's just gonna be able, able to attack on So this is fine, because I can just... If I kill you, I can just tag out Nadarius and pop your shit anyway, so I'm good. Uh, Alright, so what do you do? This card is sent to guy, you can add one equip spell. Alright. Equip, gain 600 attack, face up each... This face up card. So yeah, you can add one Violon spell from your deck. Yeah, okay. When a face up Violon card is destroyed, you can special summon one tuner monster. <laughs> New deck, and special I mean, okay, it's fine. Um, let's go ahead and activate Proving Grounds. I guess I should just summon my strongest Glad, because Glad's just going to attack on the Darius anyway. Yeah. Drew into a War Chariot too? Like, that's pretty nice. That means that eventually I'll be able to, you know, tag back it into uh, a quest and, you know, grab that War Chariot back. So, that's pretty powerful. Got the Strikes, got the War Chariot, so... That goes, then you go ahead and get your search. And I guess I'll go ahead and tag out into you know, Darius, and then Darius will summon and then pop these two. Yep. So, it's totally fine when you actually kill my Vistari, because I, mean, I can grab it back from the graveyard, I can grab it back from my hand. Like, you already know the play's gonna be fine. Your effects are negated, so it doesn't even matter, so. Do you know whose effects are not negated? 
Also, I put some eights in here just in case because I'm still trying out the um, what's the bird's name? The Augustus or whatever his name is. Still trying out two of him because he can uh, tag from a hand so he can pull out the the uh, the freaking start from a hand and do the bizarre's play. Yep, yep, yep. Powerful, powerful play. So you let it just. I'm not meta, you know. I'm, and everybody wants to play fucking metal fuzz. It's like, no, I can't beat that. No way. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do bear. But no, it's postponed because I actually didn't go. Uh, I was tired. I was really, really tired. On, uh... Yeah. This, this deck pretty much has to go first. I don't have a choice. Alright, well... I guess I could just... Kind of take it slow. <laughs> It's kind of wondering what I'm gonna tag out into. I guess it really depends. I, mean, I could tag out into like Mermelo. Mermelo. <laughs> tag out and pop the monster that tries to kill my uh my Kari. Oh, he said before he said instead of going to make a suit. Like if you attack me, I will clearly tag out into a star and pop your shit. Wow. Okay. So I guess there goes my forbidden lance. Wow, and all I get is fucking all I get is fucking dark worlds. Alright. Uh well Scarman don't want you to get the surge. Plague really won't do too much. If anything, getting rid of plague and only like, only having it in the graveyard plays is better than fucking uh, than leaving it like that. Oh, I will kill. This is since I do to my proven grounds. Like, yeah, I can survive the attack, and I can pop and pop. Like, I'm, I'm a double pop your ass. Right, so I'm gonna tag out uh, into Starry. And Starry is gonna pop that Starry card. Ah, get rid of that skill drain. You don't need that, boys. You don't need that. <laughs> Alright, so. Proven Grounds, go ahead and grab me just a Gladiator Beast that I can just normal summon. And, like, it really doesn't matter, because we're going to be tacking back out anyway. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to set you, just in case this is the bottom of so, like, I, I already know. I don't know. It's weird that they can contact while they're face down. It's, it's weird. So up you go, and summon, so. Even if it's a bottom one, so I'll still get my effect. Oh, wow, it's a Gagi, wow. Let's so put the man up in a skill drain and Regaki. I guess he wanted to set those. That's why he set them. He set them so I wouldn't pick it out of his hand with Dragon now. Okay. It'd be nice if I could tag out into something decent. There's nothing to tag out into right now. Ah, oh, this would be a great time for Retardi, Retardi but I'm not running him. Like, that sucks. I'm wondering what he's gonna go into. Obviously, he's gonna tour guide. I know his entire hand. Like, no, it's plague. He had plague. What's in town? Oh no, he drew into an unknown, unknown card. He has a uh, brow. His brow. He's gonna probably search for tour guide. Like, I don't have any monsters in the graveyard right now. <laughs> I can go into. I think it has to be two different names. I might as well summon you because no, it doesn't even have to be two different names. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it doesn't even have to be two different names. I could literally go into a uh, into a rank eight play if I want to. So I can go into Felgrand. I can I can I can do a lot. I really could. That's pretty powerful. That's pretty powerful. Just wondering if he's actually gonna kill these two. I don't know, I have like a love-hate relationship with Drowning, like, it, it could be dead because, you know, I have much on the field, I'm really, I'm, you know, I'm on the fence, but it's always good because if my back is against the wall, then it'll be there for me, it has me covered, you know, it's pretty like, hey, if shit hits the fan and he's attacking you directly, I got you covered, especially opening game where, you know, you don't have a lot of monsters and you open up with all traps. And then they're like, oh, well, he, he didn't open up it really well, then I'm just going to go in and try to OTK and, you know, overextend. Like, nah, drowning. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, never mind. I was like, I was like, oh, we're doing okay. He doesn't have gates. Never mind, he has gates. Like, ugh. And you already know, when they get gates, <laughs> Dole gets annoying when they get gates. It's fucking Dark Worlds. It's fucking Dark Worlds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, you know, I, I didn't draw any any strikes, no strikes, no card money, none of that, so. Like, I got my Wabaku, my Call of the Huntsman, my Drowning. None of them are too useful right now. You can actually with these, too? Yeah, I mean, you don't have freaking, uh... Oh, okay, so I guess you're going to go into a Sync 8 play. But if you do that, if you go into, like, Fields or something... No, because the monster that you summon can't be used as synchro material. That's right, so Brown can't be used as synchro material. So I mean, you can sync five. Yeah, if you're probably wondering, it's like, oh, because I can't sync into like Beals. Mm -mm. This can't be synchro material. You can sync five. You can go like on Apes or something. That'd be pretty good. Like, you know, you clearly see I have back rail, so. Oh, you can exceed these two. Dante? Okay. Zen Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Pop one of my cards during the end phase, I guess. Wow. Wow, you're actually going to attack into... Wow, like, I get that you pop something with Zen Mains during the end phase, and that's cute and all, but you know that I tag out, right? Like, like I don't like... I don't, I don't, <laughs> like, like, thanks for letting me tag out, man. I'm mean, gonna go back into fucking... Uh, the star, you pop that Gates of the Dark World. You don't need that card. You don't need it. Definitely don't need it. Like, wow. Wow, I hope it was worth it. I hope you pop something really good. I'll probably pop one of my glads, because you know that if I leave, if you leave these two glads, you're going to get Geysaris, so. I pop one of my glad monsters, like, back row's cute and all, but, but you don't know that I have a call on it, so. Yeah, so, that's fine. That's fine. You can have that, not even when I'm at it. You can have that. Wow, then I jumped Darius, so. You know what? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow, this man's getting fucked up. Thank you, thanks, thanks for letting me tag him to the start. That that one to the start. You, you're, you're cool, man. You're cool. Pop, pop. You know, attack over you. Then you won't resolve your effect because you need to be on the field during the end phase to resolve your effect, so. Ah. <sighs> Another question is what I should go into. I'm thinking about summoning two Augustus and going into Hope because I feel like spell cards are the biggest threat. Like if he draws into another Gates, then that's some ba that's some deep shit, you know. So I think I think tagging on two Augustus and going into Hope is a fine play. So one, two. That had to be different names. Like nope, that's pretty good. Yay, glad to get access to rank eight play. That's that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm play yeah, I'm playing Glads, but yeah, I can also bust out a fucking hope. <laughs> but no, no, it's post fun because I was just so tired on Tuesday. I was so tired. So, I, uh, my teacher gave me her number, but I didn't give her my number, so I texted her and was like, I won't be able to come in, super tired. Uh, you know, we got to like, wow, wow, uh, fucking called that shit. I was like, if you fucking get another Gates, then fuck me, you know? So, no, hell no. That's how you stop Dark Worlds. Get rid of that Gates. Get rid of it. Never, don't let them have gates. Never let them have gates. Um, the awesome if I drew up a story. Okay, I was thinking, I was trying to be the fucking card whisperer right now. <laughs> it's like, let me drop a story. Let me drop a story. Let me drop a story. Nope. Uh, I guess I'll just attack. Then maybe call the haunted. I'm thinking probably attack. If it goes through, maybe call the hunted the the, the Akari tag tag out into. Oh, that floaty one. I forgot name Scar was even a dark rock because no one really plays him. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I'll call the hunted. Call the hunted into the car. The car will poke you and then tag out into Pistari, Pop your back rail. Cause I don't want you to have anything. Like, that's the thing. I don't want you to have anything. Sorry. And the other thing is, you could still draw into that last field spell, but I could just eat that up too. Oh, Eradicator. Yeah, that would suck if you want Eradicator and Cobble Trap. That would, that would suck like a son of a bitch, so I'm glad I got rid of that. <coughs> this is stuck on my field, but it's cool. I still think the Call of the Hunt to play. They're fine. So... But I didn't give her a number, so she's like, who is this? Who's Daniel? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's me. <laughs> oh, well, I guess that's game. Oh, now I get card of demise. Like, I would love to go card of demise and get the plus, but I need to get the damage in, so that's game. I mean, of course, I could get the damage in first, and then, you know, but if you have more life points, like, I'd be like, attack, attack. I don't play a special summoning card of demise. And, I mean, I don't, I could tag out, but I mean, tag out into what? You know? I'm like, wow. All right, we'll get one more, probably one more duel. Yeah, right back. 
So yeah, that drowning didn't get used outdoor, but you know what? It's a safety net. So it's a great ass safety net. It's literally like a tiramisu safety net. Like I, I mean, if it was just your public type general, you could blow them back with drowning, then no, come on. You know, but you're, you're gonna have to attack me eventually. You're not gonna trip me out with just monsters. You're, you're definitely not. So since you go after that direct attack, I'm gonna do this non-targeting, spin all your attack monsters back to the deck. You're gonna be like, oh shit, such a blowout card. It really is. <laughs> Especially in Demise deck where it's like, oh no, I'm play card in my set and back row, take it slow. He's like, he's like, oh, he didn't get really anything. He's like, nope. <laughs> oh wow, well, never mind, never mind. I thought we were gonna get a duel on. Be right back. All right, got a different duel. Uh, still, still, I, I'm still debating, but I still think first is always the best. Uh, well, if I reveal any of my glad cards, then I'll play. But if not, then really, I'm just looking for card demise. There it is. There it is. The, the, it's the perfect opening hand. This summon a glad, set all the fucking back row, because fucking cardamize is unhit, and draw into more shit. Like, so fair. So fair. So fair. So, so fair. So fair. I'm gonna lose my fucking uh, Darius, which is fine, but so fair. Look at that. Look at that. that that's wow. Wow. Tell me that's fucking. That's disgusting. <laughs> I got Vanity's Chariot, Strike, Drowning, and Warning. Like, alright. <laughs> oh, it's ABC. Ah, I mean, this is meta, definitely. Definitely some meta. Yep. So. This card is almost in I'm thinking about just stopping him, him from being summoned. I could I could chariot him though. Uh, this card is a by battle by card effect. Yeah, then you still get to summon. Uh, I don't know what he's gonna do. I think he's gonna overextend. I think he's gonna silver gadget. You know, he's gonna he's gonna summon his ABC monster and then that's gonna get equipped. So I would like to stop his ABC monster, but then this guy's also a threat. Golden silver gadget shenanigans. If anything, I, I'd rather tag out than allow you to crash, but then he could just summon Silver Gadget. That's okay. I would love to war chair that, but like I said, there's, there's, there's really nothing I could do. If he vanities me, he could just crash with me. That's the problem. I don't want, I don't want him to crash with me. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Well, gadget, silver gadget. Oh, he's gonna do the fucking Katakuri plays. Okay. I'm gonna allow that. I'm not gonna allow that. Yeah. I like. I am going to allow that. No. I'm not gonna sit here and watch you fucking play with yourself, touch yourself, fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu Katakuri style. Like, no, 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 no. Yep. Kari would be a great draw right now. Another drowning. Alright. So it's a safety net. Safety net. I'm okay for right now. Just the Witcher, it's kinda eh. I'm just wondering how far he's gonna, you know, overextend. I think he'll probably just go ahead and summon one of his ABCs, equip it with the ABC, unless he's gonna try to do the fucking Gyrgyz Katakuri play. I mean, the Katakuri play, Gyrgyz Katakuri, just, just Katakuri play. Yep, Brilliant Fusion, yep. Brilliant Fusion for your Seraphonite, you already know. Play is fucking. This is top tier deck right here, this is fucking ABCs versus fucking Glads, like. There's no fucking way, right? Think about just maybe flipping some vanities up. Nah, I'll, I'll, I'll let him overextend a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So be best to drink makes him unaffected by spell cards, that's fine. Ah, thank you for overextending, you can catch this Drowning Mirror Force. There goes A. Ah, oh, but you still get B. So you can just add the A right back. And you still got additional normal summon because you haven't used your additional normal summon, so you can just summon A and then 
That's good. You're gonna go ahead and just go into ABC. I have the strike, so. Really, I just need to draw into a glad. That's the thing. I need to draw into any glad. No. No, I'm not gonna let ABC sit on the field. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, any glad, any glad. That's really exactly what I needed because I still have the uh, Bastari in the graveyard, so I can just go into Darius. And Darius is some of the star going to Geyserus. Like, I think I might be able to actually take down ABC <laughs> because I'm so helmet with Card of Demise because Card of Demise is just so fucking good. Like, this is the best opening that I got all video, and that's exactly what I needed to face down this fucking deck. Just everything. So it doesn't matter. In phase two, go out into click, click, click over Kazaris. And I can tag out and go into uh into my rank eight play, so I can stop it if he draws into another uh well no I can't tag out. I can't tag out because I already tagged out. Oh I got vanity dumpiness and shit like that, so we're still good. I would say if I tag and I tag out and go into the two Augustus and go into uh hope. <laughs> I'm probably thinking of him. He'll probably get another hanger. Okay. Not just summon B Buster Drake and get your search on. Like, that's fine. Hmm. Question is, do I do I feel like I'm gonna overextend? Really? No, because I could just attack you. You get to search. Now the question is, should I tag out or what? I'm thinking about just not tagging out, not doing anything, because there's really no point in doing anything. Like, you know, I'm in control of this duel, and then just going plus off of card and eyes, because, I mean, Konami didn't hit it, so. No. Card and eyes. Draw, draw, draw. Set that, set that, play that. Totally fair, totally fair, totally fair. Like, Konami, why? Why do you think that this card is fucking fair? And even when shit, if shit hits the fan, I still got two drownings back in me up. Like, that's crazy. And I got the vanities and the war chariot. Two war chariots. Like, god fucking damn. You know? You know what? You're just gonna attack over my Laquari? Like, no, that's fine. Because you're probably just gonna go ahead and sink eight into Orxy or whatever. You know? You're probably gonna do one of those things. I was wondering if you're going to sink gate or go into Utopia and Utopia like, no, you're going to sink eight. And you're going to go into Bushido and Bushido's going to be like, hey, I'm going to summon a monster. And I'm going to be like, fucking War Chariot? Like, no. No, nigga, no. So, like I said, I'm going to have to postpone the, uh, the more observation part two because I haven't done part two, uh, the more observations yet. Thanks for being Chainlink too. I don't care about fucking, what's his name, Core. You want know, that beat back? That's fine. Yeah, yeah, and that's how you be top tier deck, ABC. You just get card demise, put your helmet on, strap it on real tight, and win. There's <laughs> a shit ton of background, like, I just one up the shit out of him. But hey, that's the little one you go, because if I didn't one, the shit out, one up the shit out of him, he would overextend and fucking, you know, come down all over my fucking face. So I'm not into that. <laughs> so I had to control that. I was like, keep your fucking pants on, nigga. He would, especially in the fucking Geargy Akatakuri, I mean, the, the Geargy, why do I keep on calling Geargy Katakuri? It's just Katakuri version, you know? I'm just so used to Geargy being with Katakuri, no, the Katakuri fucking version? It's just like, summon, summon, special summon, search, summon, I, I think I saw this deck bust out like what? A Hope, uh, I mean, a Hope and Infinity, a, a, of course, an ABC, and a Stardust, all in one turn. If he would have busted that out, oh my god, I would have been... I'd have been in some deep shit. Unless I, of course, I'm a double Drowning Mirror Force, because I wouldn't Drowning Mirror Force, you wouldn't send me the game Drowning Mirror Force. Bye. <laughs> so. Alright, so, like I said, we, we have the entire month. I need, I need to get one class. One class, that's it. One class done of observation. I got all the way until the 24th of September, you know. I was super tired. Tuesday and Thursday. It's not going to be on Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday and Thursday is a terrible for me. Terrible. Especially when we get the channel changes, then that'll be great, you know. Because literally all I've had to do is just upload a uh, uh, a stream highlights. So I said, if, we're doing, if we would go with the plan that I'm playing on now, I'd be doing my streams on Saturday and Sunday. 
take those streams, find some stream highlight, either keep it as is or commentate over it, and then upload it by Tuesday or Thursday. And that's the video that you get for Tuesday and Thursday. <sighs> Easy, you know, Tuesday and Thursdays are just a lot of work for me, you know, especially right now because uh, I'm busy on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And if I don't record ahead of time, then I gotta, you know, come back home and then, you know, record with somebody and work at their community. So it's, it's a pain, it really is. So hopefully the channel changes will help with that. But. It won't be on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'll observe, and I just need to get that one class done. I have plenty of time. Really, what I need to go in for was some questions. I got all the questions, so, you know, I posted week one's questions, they're fine. Week two, I'm going to be posting them. I said, I'm leaving on my trip on Thursday, you know, so I got to make sure everything's recorded. So here's uh, here's Wednesday stuff, you know, record Thursday stuff. I still, you'll still get Friday because I recorded a day ahead, but there's not going to be any Friday when I live stream. I will be home and I'm not going to do it on my laptop uh, at, at the hotel. I mean, no, you know, and even if I could during the time that it would be time for the stream, I'd be at, you know, the regionals anyway. So, uh, homework is just a pain. You know, I got to enjoy the assignments done, but this last assignment teacher's not helping me, but maybe I'll talk about that more at a later time, at a later date. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow tagging, playing with uh, Zephra. Oh, I was supposed to play with pure Zephra, but I never got that deck. I don't know, it depends. It depends if I have enough time to ask uh, Zeno if he has the pure deck. If not, then we'll just play with what I got, because I don't got time for him to be, you know, answering me. <laughs> All right, people, thanks for watching.